For centuries, life's big questions have challenged some of the world's greatest minds. The need for love, marriage, and lifelong commitment. The yearning to reproduce and the survival of the human race. The search for a vocation. The desire to find happiness. And the inevitable end, death. But Carl Pilkington has not given a second thought to any of these issues. This cat's cross-eyed. I've never seen that before. Now he's turned 40, he thinks it's time he did. <laughs> he's travelling around the world to see how other people deal with life's big questions. We've had the Iron Age, the Stone Age, <gasps> this is the pissing about age. And to see if the issues are such a big deal anyway. You celebrate life by enjoying your life. You don't have to walk around with a cock on your head. In this episode, Carl wants to know why people get married. Just because two people love each other, you drag other people into it. Get on with it. How do you meet the ideal partner? I really would like to meet you again. All right. And whether you really need a big wedding. There's 5,000 people. How many people do they know? This is The Moaning of Life. It's like, who's the mental one here? Is it me or everyone else? I've been with Suzanne for, what, like 20 years or something now. I don't feel like I have to get married. Everything about it is a, a false, made-up, over-the-top day. I blame films, you know, everything's like, oh, the princess is getting married and all that. You never, they've never done a follow-up to Cinderella. How was it? How was it after the shoe fit? Did they get on? Oh, do you know what I mean? You, you, I don't know. It's easy to be all romantic when everyone's getting flowers and you've got a nice dress on and all that. What's it like on a shitty day when your boiler's knackered? We're looking at relationships and marriage and the different reasons people pick people. Well, they've just got a simple way of doing things out in India, and that's arranged marriages. I'm meeting a bloke called Gopal, whose job it is to sort of get people together. It's like online dating, but, like, the mums and dads get together and they have a bit of a say on whether or not it's the person for you. I don't know what my mum and dad would pick. I mean, my mum likes anyone, really. In fact, she, she tends to sort of feel sorry for people who look a bit odd. That's what she always liked about Elvis. Whenever Elvis was on stage and he was sweating, he'd get a towel off someone who, who was a bit ugly, a bit of a fat lump. He'd never go for, like, the, the nice-looking woman. And I think that's what she'd do with me. She'd go, oh, well, no-one else would want this person. You go out with her. She's a bit too nice for her own good. Whereas my dad, I think he'd end up picking someone who's... I don't know, whose dad runs the butchers or something so he can get some free meat. Z. Arranged marriage, it requires a lot of things. We seek destined soulmates, not partners. We have to see social, financial, intellectual compatibility of both person and their families also. After filling this form, we will arrange some matches for you. OK, then. Date of birth, 1972. Height, I'm about six foot. Blood type. I mean, surely you don't pick people on your blood type. Being bald, you see, I think that should be on here, cos there's loads of women who go, I don't want a bald bloke. I'm hairy. I've got hairy ears, I've got hairy chest, I've got hair on my back, but none on my head. Some women would be like, definitely not. But there's not a space for that. They're asking me blood type. I've never heard that. I've never heard someone say, it wasn't working. Why? Odd blood. The six feet. Yeah. OK, bald head, hairy chest, OK. Is that good? I, there wasn't a part about the bald head and no, hairy. No, no. Whatsoever you are having, it should be amply clear. It should be mentioned. Cos if she was bald, I'd want to know. Right, so this is the bit where I write down what I want out of the woman. So, education... Um... She is a 74 born, 5'6". She's quite an intelligent woman. Yeah, intelligent woman. It's not exam results I want, I just want common sense in a woman. Technical qualification. I'll put electrical, cos that's quite handy, cos I haven't got a clue with that. 
She has done master in marketing and finance. She wouldn't want me, I don't think. I don't think she would like me. I don't want her being into celeb life, sort of reading Heat magazine and all that. I don't want her wasting her time on that sort of shit. She can have magazines, but not that sort. What's her hair like under that hat? Yeah, it's good. Hair's good. Why yeah. has she got a cap on? I don't know, it's like photo only. Get white it. trousers as well, I don't, I don't know if I like white trousers. I prefer if she didn't watch soaps, because they're home every night now. She'd never get anything done. Oh, that's the same woman without the cap? Yeah. That's fair, I'm showing you. How does she look without cap? Better with the cap. There is one profile in my mind. Her name is Shivani Talwar. She can marry with the British guy. Uh, she can go abroad. There is no problem. And how much jewellery? Does she wear a lot of jewellery? No, no, no. Just She's not fond of jewellery. Did Suzanne not like, have rings? No, I don't buy her much jewellery. It annoys me. She's, uh, see, she had a mate who used to come around who had loads, and I couldn't concentrate. And the more I heard it, the more I couldn't focus on the thing I was doing. It was like fucking knocking about with a wind chime. So I don't like it. Oh, let's have a look at her again. Can you just see her head again? It's good. Do you think she'd like me? Yeah, definitely. For this uh, occasion, you should wear a shirt or suit. I never wear a suit. Uh, I advise you here. Really? Yeah, it, it looks good. Afternoon. All right. Just after a um, after a suit. How's business? Busy. This popular popular yeah, style. Yeah, it is. It is. It is very popular. I'm on a date tonight. No. Yeah. You can get this color also if you want. The design is same. The color is different. Hey, that looks good, doesn't it? With the t-shirt. Yeah, it's looking nice. With the t-shirt on. Yeah. Yeah. She's going to be well happy with this. It's just a date, isn't it? There's at least this way. Meet the family, see them all. There's no secrets, it's all out there. I mean, I don't know how that would have affected, you know, I'm with Suzanne. If I would have met a mum straight away, I might have gone forget it. But who knows? I mean, sometimes you can just put two people together and they get on. Look at Eston Blumenthal, that chef. He puts shit together that shouldn't work. Vianetta with a Yorkshire pudding on the top. People love it. You go, this shouldn't work, this shouldn't be together. I know, but it's nice, isn't it? Hi, Carl. You have heard a lot about you. Have you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All good. Well, let us see. The person who is introducing us to you, he said that you are, you know, that highly qualified, have a good background, family background. Very yeah, good. Yeah. Cultured. Yeah. And tell me something about your parents. Are they doctors? Or? No, there's no doctors. I mean, they've retired now. They, 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 my dad has done loads of jobs from tiling, gardening. Yeah. He's done courier work, taxi driver. Uh -huh. He had like a butty shop with my mum. What level education have you have finished? I didn't do that well. The, uh, the school wasn't very good mm -hmm. that I went to. Uh, are the school not good or students are not good? If I'm being honest with you, yeah. I wasn't interested in a lot of what they were teaching. Mm -hmm. To me, I just wanted to, to get school done and get a job. If we're being honest, I used to do a little bit of robbing when I was younger. Nothing big. Yeah. But, you know, toffees, chocolate. Uh, what do what your income like? Um, I'd, I'd like to be picked on whether she thinks, you know, I'm the man who could look after her. No, I would like to know your income per month or per... I know, per but I don't, I don't think that should matter. At the end of the day, I could say I'm earning thousands, yeah. but then I might not tell you that I'm a big gambler. Yeah. And I lose it all. Yeah. There's a lot of nutters out there who are earning fortunes, but they're idiots. So I would like to know... So you are running... Put it this way, I don't owe any money. She won't starve. She's got a roof over her head. We know somebody who was very much interested in her. Though she was, you know, that she was 34, 35, she was looking for... Are you looking, looking for somebody... Someone who... who's domesticated or would you like your would-be wife to work? And what you do now for a living? 
for job. It's and all about how you look. This is how, what, how, how you look. So you're an intellectual. You write book. Are you living, living with your family, with your mother and father? Are you with... I've, got, I've got a house. House? Well, complete house. Full house. Oh, five right. bedrooms. Five bedrooms? Yeah. What are you doing? Big house. Big house. He's got space for us. Yeah, that's well. <laughs> yeah, well, five bedrooms. So everyone can fit in then. Well, maybe in time. You can postpone, you know, your departure mm. and meet a couple of times more. For coffee or dinner or, or something lunch or like something that, like that. Whatever is suitable. You can, both of you can, you can go to movie. Up to both of you. Yeah. I really would like to meet you again. All right. Yeah. 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 You can yeah. exchange the number also if you yeah. want, you know. Yeah. How marriage you want to take? Indian style marriage or church style marriage? We do always have a lavish and a big wedding. Right. After you know that you the meet tomorrow, then fix up the time and date for the wedding. You can invite your parents from England. Then we go to the temple and let the priest know that uh, announce bo both of you, husband and wife. And that's it. That went well. Went too well, didn't it? Really? I mean, that, that is proper mental. An hour, 15 minutes, and I, I could meet a person who I'm going to spend the rest of my life with. I think I've sat in sort of doctor's waiting rooms with someone longer than that. I don't even know the name. Doing it here, I'm getting married to someone. I, I would like to study, so is it okay that you, you'd be fine with that? So it, would that be evenings or daytime? The thing is, I think she would be all right, and I know I'd be all right, so it, it would last. You know, she, she still liked me for what I was. There was no chat-up lines, no trying hard. It was just being myself. Yeah, I like cake. Thanks. So you have a Good sweet job. tooth? Yeah. Me too. Yeah, I love yeah. chocolate cake. I love chocolates, chocolate cakes. Well, maybe you should learn some baking then. Yeah, together, right? yeah, that'd be yeah. nice. Eat yourself and bake him also some. Yeah, that should be good. I mean, I, f I forgot. Not Susanna, she hasn't got a clue what's going on. Last time I spoke to her, there was a problem with the boiler again. She has no idea. I'm sat here talking about getting married to some woman who I met an hour ago. You can have a telephone number. Okay. You can, you know, tomorrow fix up the time. You, you can yeah. give it to you him know. on the way back. Yeah. Downstairs. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Okay. Right. Okay. It was good to know that if everything did go tits up, there's someone else in the world who would put up with me. I mean, I don't think she looked at me as the one. There's no way you could find the one here, where, you know, a population's like over a billion people. You have troubles finding a parking space. Is that busy out there. So there's no way you're going to find the one. I was just thinking about it last night. I was just, it was going over my head. Thinking Shivani Pilkington. Could I imagine getting posts through the door? Shivani. Shouting a name around the house. What would happen if, like, I did meet her again? I'm not meeting her again, because we're busy. But say if I did meet her again, and I said, ah, oh, it's not working, is it? Would it be wrong to say, is your sister still available? Last night with Shivani, she was sort of up for marrying me day after tomorrow, wasn't she, really? So what they do here, because people meet like that, they meet really quickly, and they don't really know each other. So they end up paying a detective to follow people, to find out if, like, the, you know, the, the story that they've been giving them is true. Hello. Hi. Are you Sanjay? Yeah. Hi, I'm Carla. How are you? Hi, I'm fine. So, what's the plan? It is before marriage check. This is a credential the client has given to us. They want to verify whatever information the boy side has given to the girl side. That is correct mm. or not? So you just go through it. Yeah, he's not a smoker, he's a non-drinker. Yeah. He's a vegetarian. If, if he's going to any bar, we have to film, you know. That's most important. I will send you with one of my assistants to observe the activities during the whole day. Are you married? Marriage is a kind of foundation in India. I mean, if you are married, you are bound to each other. 
you have to share each and everything with each other. Yeah. And if you are hiding something, it means you are not loyal to your partner. Well, I I uh, met a woman last night. Okay. To see if we could get married. I went to a um, a marriage broker, looked at some profiles, picked picked a woman, went and met a dad and a mum. Had some biscuits. Okay. She uh, she loved me. No. Yeah, she did. She okay. she wanted a date today, but I said I can't. I said I'm out on a job. Okay. Yeah, it's mad. She was really keen. Really keen. She's really keen to get married with you. With me, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's good. We are in the position. We're in position? Yeah. Do you know if he's wearing this T-shirt? That's not him, is it, with a striped jumper? Did you see the striped jumper? Yeah, he's this bloke here. <laughs> We're never going to find him, eh? चल मैं रुक जा मैं भी बताऊंगा मैं थोड़ा सा बिजी हूँ थोड़ा सा ऑक्यूपाइट हूँ ना वही रहने दे हाँ हाँ आई एम करेंटली वर्किंग ऑन अनदर असाइनमेंट आल्सो आल लेडीज मिसिंग सिंस लास्ट नाइट हाँ जी वही मेसिंग अबाउट लुकिंग फॉर दिस प्लांट जस्ट टू चेक इफ ही स्मोक्स एंड ईट्स मीट He's looking around. He's got a red folder. He's looking well guilty. He's looking shifty. I mean, why is he reading that there now? He's getting his phone out. I reckon he's calling a woman. He's definitely meeting someone, isn't he? Because he was on the maybe, phone. Maybe, maybe, maybe. And he's, maybe. The way he's walking around, sort of not aiming anywhere. Could be staying somewhere tonight. Would people who have a meeting, would they wear a rucksack like that for a meeting? Or could they have a change of clothing? It's a bit weird, isn't it, to take a rucksack to a meeting? Uh, I carry a rucksack to work. Folder's gone in the bag. He's got a bottle of water. It looks like it's sparkling. Definitely him, isn't it? Yeah, definitely he is, because... Yeah, his hair is sort of... Hairs. ...very uh, bouffant. He's meant to be working. He's not working, is he? We should send this video to his boss. So, do you know what your employee's up to? Wandering around car parks, drinking water. It's, it's, it's lunch, the lunch Is it? time. Why aren't we having lunch? I'm starving. Do you want a bit of that cake? Do you want some food? Mm. Fucking hell. Where did he go? You stay here. Stay I'm here. just going. Jesus, I took my eye off him for a second. I'm just looking at the chocolate brownie. It's sort of like Oreo. What was he doing? Mm hmm? He was smoking. He wasn't. The way he's holding that, I wouldn't say he's a heavy smoker. The way he's smoker. He, yeah, he, looks, he looks light, like a light smoker, the way he's holding it right in the middle of his mouth. Like that. But he's smoking. Yeah, he's smoking, yeah. So what do we do now? We've seen him smoking. Might be possible he's uh, supposed to meet with any girl here. Right, he's gone. He's in the rickshaw. Don't worry, my team is there. Well, what are we here for, then? What are we doing? If there's another team, why, why, is, why are we all following this bloke? Just because he's having a fag? It's hardly fucking crime in the century, is it? I mean, he might have just started smoking today because he's nervous. He's about to get married, isn't he? Has anyone thought of that? What a job this is, isn't it? Car. Wedding invitation. I knew it was going to happen. Can't make a programme about weddings without actually having to go to one. But I can't say I'm looking forward to it, if I'm honest. I'm just going to be helping out a wedding planner who's, uh, you know, they've got to sort everything out from start to finish. When we get an invite through the door that size, 
I don't want Suzanne to see it because then she'll go, oh, we should actually should go then, shouldn't we? It's the equivalent to getting jury duty to me, that. Came through the door, you can't get out of it. I didn't want it, I didn't want to do it, I couldn't get out of it. And it's the same with the wedding invite. Just because two people love each other, they drag other people into it. Get on with it. Get married, get on with it. Email us the pictures, we're happy to have a look. Just annoys me. It's a small wedding. The reception's 3,000 people. Well, that's ridiculous. We need to make sure, given the amount of time, effort and money spent by the family, that we make this wedding a real success. It's their once-in-a-lifetime mm. event. Yeah. We, we go to the groom's house now. Please help him get ready. There's things he needs to put on his head. You have to you, make sure it's straight. Yeah. Here's your outfit. You think you'll be comfortable in that? Looks all right, that. You've been told what you're meant to be doing? Um, I'm basically just um, a shit shifter for the day by the sounds of things. Got to make sure the groom's hat's on straight. Uh, that's when you know an event's overstaffed. When you've got someone whose job it is just to go, you're out, you're out, it's a bit, oh, it's perfect. I mean, seriously. The, the state that's, in, you know, India's in. The amount of things that do need staff, and yet I'm walking around for, watching a fella's hat. That's the problem with India. I was with a bloke the other day watching someone having, having a fag. What about the important things that need sorting? Make sure that he's ready. And at 10.15 sharp, you start assembling everybody for the temple, yeah? So, Carl, this is Vinay, the groom's brother. Vinny. He's the next one to get married. Right, yeah, yeah. And the bridegroom's oh. mother. Is she, she all right? Is she happy today? Yeah, he, he. The bride, oh, the bride. bride, 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 bride groom. Bride, bride. <laughs> okay. Is there anything Loads else you'd stuff. like him to do, Auntie? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, look for a bride for my son. Yes. Yes. There's, there's yeah. the groom, he's yeah. ready. Oh, hello. How are you? How are you feeling? Nice. Yeah? Can we start getting yeah, everybody yeah, ready? It's a lot going on. Oh, yeah. yeah. And what about all this, the pressure of people keep saying about you having to find someone? Is that annoying? It is very, very annoying. You'll find someone when you're ready, won't you? Exactly. Carl, can you just make sure you see how the thing is tied? We have this people didn't want to. Let's twist it. It looks so nice. Yeah. Do I don't want to look like an Arenium. <laughs> I guess we'll be getting the That is some setup you got on the telly. Is that just all for the TV? Yeah. These days, not many home theater systems come with a retro look. The old 80s design with these big speakers. That's mad, isn't it? Yeah. We got any music channel? Just, uh, just a moment, I'm just trying to find it. Too many uh, remotes. Sorry, can we forget about this and concentrate there? No, I'm just waiting. I'm keeping it. Oh, but you have to, because if it comes off. Just hold it from here. Yeah, let's just quickly go check yeah. up. Just, this, Carl, this, please this. make sure you know it. Yeah, we'll just, I'll tuck it in. Thank you. Yeah. Just like that, yeah? Yeah. It's a good sound. Listen to that. Can everybody come through, please? <laughs> Stairs that way, lift that way. Can other people use the stairs, please? Everybody to the basement, please. Right, this is it now. We're not messing around. We're, we're actually leaving now. Come on now, please. Okay. It's good that you're asking them all to go, but let's try to be really, really polite because it's a marriage home. We need to be assertive, so but please. not. So please. No, 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 I understand, I but I just want yeah. you to keep that in your okay. mind. That's all. Can we go now? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Look, if they don't come, it's not... I've, I've told them. Right, we're actually shutting the door now. It's fine. You'll know, won't you? If it's covering your eye, just give it a push. Is there enough room there for another? Ah, uh, there is. When they said that these sort of weddings last forever, it's because you couldn't be arsed going through this again. Why would you leave someone? This is what we should do at home. It would make people stay together, wouldn't it? Hang on, it's happening, it's happening, it's happening. Vic, are you all right? It's fine, just keep pushing it on. And let me show you the food. So, all these things get served to the guests. One after the other, there are about wow. 25 different dishes here. You know I don't like crowds, it's busy. That noise. What is that? Is 
It's that, it's that, it's a high pitched one. It sounds like, you know, when you've got a wasp behind a curtain, and you sort of push the curtain on it and its wings go mental. It's like that, it's like. It's not, it's not musical, it's just noise. This one? Carl, a tiny bit. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Carl, you can be a little quicker. Carl, don't ask whether people want one or two. I know, but some That's people were doing like that, like That's one. Okay. How many do you want? Two? Carl. Oh, yeah. Family seems to enjoy it. Yeah, but Mum's loving it. His brother looks like he's enjoying it as much as I am, if I'm honest. I just sort of caught him, stood there, just sort of nodding his head, like, what is this all about? He's probably looking at it, thinking, I've got to do all this. So you can't even say, oh, I'm gay or anything anymore, can you? Because gays get married now. So even that's not an excuse. I couldn't even do this. I haven't got this many family. All the numbers in my mobile phone wouldn't fill this row of tables here. I hardly know anyone. I want to keep it that way as well, to be honest. If he's younger than me, maybe he's on Twitter. And that's the problem. And things like that, you have, like, thousands of followers, even though you don't know them. Put out on there, I'm getting married, do you want to come? That's the problem, it gets way out of hand. Way out of hand. This is the entrance right. where the guests will walk in from. Right. So this is where the waiters will be standing with the welcome ushers. drinks. The ushers will be here. Now, can you please make sure you go around and check all yeah. the candles? Yeah. All right, I'll do that now. I'll do that Thank now. Hi, hey. right. candles out. I think this may not light up. No, it looks burned, doesn't it? The wick. Yeah. Can I leave that with you? There's another one as well over here. Two hundred thousand dollars. Got some cheap candles. Peanuts or snacks, you're okay? No problem. See the two men in the corner? They want chicken. Looking a little bit low on peanuts. Need any more peanuts? You're all right? It's mental. It's proper mental. Vic's gonna be on that stage. I think he started at eight o'clock. He's gonna be there till 11 shaking hands. And then they're filming it all to hand out to people who couldn't make it. Who couldn't make it? There's 5,000 people. How many people do they know? I just wouldn't record it. William and Kate, when they got married, it was on the BBC, wasn't it? But they didn't record it at home. You don't watch that back, it happens and it goes and then you get on with your life. It's stupid. Ridiculous. How many people are there, did you say? 5,000? How many toilets? Two. Hey? And the amount of peanuts I've been handing out, it's gonna be, you know, get pretty busy here in a bit. It's a sort of invite to a pheromone party going on in LA. And uh, it's just another way of, of meeting people, but with a bit of science sort of involved in this one. It's the smell, based on smell. Like dogs, what the dogs do, sniff each other's arse. They don't knock about going, oh, let's try a chat up line, or, you know, oh, I like the look of that one. They go straight to the arse. They like the smell of it, and then they do what they've got to do. And at the end of the day, we're animals, aren't we? So maybe they should, you know, just take something from that. Hey, what's your name? Carl. Carl, you're number 50. That's important for you to remember. Pay close attention to the screen back here because women who happen to like your scent will take your bag and hold it up and then you'll see what that person looks like and you can go find them at the party. That's nicer than that one. Yeah. You go for it. Oh, Jesus. That should be binned. <laughs> oh, hey. You go for guys too? Oh, is that a bloke's? Louis guy. Louis guy. Oh, right. Yeah. This is definitely oh, a girl. 
Yeah. I'm having that one. I mean, really, what you could do is just take them all, play it safe. Did I? Which one? Which one were you? 29. What did you like about it? 29. Can I have a smell again? I knew I can smell you. Wait, you don't remember? I remember liking it at the time, but I've been had my nose in a lot of stuff. Oh, have you just willy-nilly been choosing shirts that you smelled? It's just like one, two, three. No, no, no. I wasn't just no, no, no. I put some back. Well, let me just. You were just choosing willy nilly. No, I wasn't. Know. I wasn't picking willy nilly. I don't remember which one's mine. I picked three. Oh, I smelt it for like 20 seconds. You're not going to just commit to one. You're going to choose three out of how many? You smelt nice. Three out of three? Listen, you, you were okay. my favourite. That, yeah, that would, I would be complimented if you even remembered which one I was. I liked it at the time. Okay, which one was it then? 20 something, 23. No. Sorry. So that's Sorry. it. That's it. Me. It's hard, isn't it? I think you uh, you picked my T-shirt. Oh, chocolatey. Actually, it is a bit chocolatey, right? You like chocolate? I do like chocolate, <laughs> admittedly. What about Revels? You like Revels? Revels. You yeah. get like a Malteser. You get a nut-covered chocolate. <laughs> Caramel. It's a mixed bag. Wow, that sounds amazing. So what else do you like? I like facts. facts. I do like facts very much. Do you know that when koalas are born, the way that they get the gut flora to digest eucalyptus is by eating their mom's shit? Do you know what a wombat is? I do know what a wombat is, yes. When a wombat has a shit, it's square. What do you think of I that? I do that... like that about you that you know that. In every sort of romantic film, in... There's a woman with glasses I on, everyone's feelings. On. Hello, good how are you? I guess someone likes my taste in clothing. Uh, which number were you? I don't know if I was under 34. Yeah, I thought you were all right. <laughs> did you did smell nice. your... What did you like about it? <laughs> it just smelled like you were clean. Yeah, it's just, that's, that's all I wanted, really. Not too much perfume. And it sort of matches you. You don't have loads of makeup. Just a bit on the eyes. Simple, nice not overdone. Simple. Pie. Pie. Um, pie. Yes. You like pie? Yeah. I love the smell of pie. Yeah. I'm Sarah. Sarah. Nice to meet you. Nice to see you. No, it's it's good then. It's a good one. Did, did you, you put a shirt down? I did. Yeah. Has anyone picked you yet? Uh... I think there's something in this. It's going back to basics. It's what cavemen would have done or cave women to meet the man. They couldn't even speak. They couldn't do themselves up. They didn't have perfumes. So the only thing they had, really, would have been the smell. And that's what we've done tonight. It's gone right back to basics. I think it's really good. The, the only problem is, is that it was like my nose has got standards that are sort of unachievable for me. Higher standards than it should have, really because it's attached to me, isn't it? And I, I'm not going to get the women that it wants. I don't know who he thinks I am. That's the problem with it. Yeah, you like my scent, but you don't know which number. Oh, <laughs> shut up. Show them? Shut up. You chose them with You're doing me head in. Fucking hell. What's the mental? She's busting your balls. She is. Tell you what annoys me with overseas weddings, it's the invite. You've got a mate who's decided to get married in Canada. Suddenly you get an invite through the door saying, oh, we'd love you to be there. That's what annoys me. You've got to pay for a flight and a hotel, take time off work and all that because he's, he wants to get married in Canada. I'm very happy for them, but are they having a laugh? Who in the right mind would do that? I think they're just trying to make it more special. Yeah, but that's lovely for them. It makes me laugh, as, as if. Oh, I don't know if you're passing. No, it's in Canada. Oh, ten hours on a plane. There's no way in this world I'd do that. No way.
So they just stick the chapels on main roads like this. It's not even off. Yeah. It's weird, isn't it? Yeah, it's a drive-through one. It is a drive-through wedding. Are you sure for drive-through? We're not going to get involved in a wedding. It's good, isn't it? I'm not a fan of these. Cherubs. Why not? You know, there's something sinister about them. Considering they're meant to represent love and all that, I don't get it. Babies with wings. And they haven't got nappies on, so that's just causing a right load of hassle, isn't it? Flying around shitting everywhere. You want to get married in the drive through How long does it take? Ten minutes. It's good, that. It's goes, it goes like this. What is your name? Carl. What's your girlfriend's name? Suzanne. Carl, will you take Suzanne to be your wife? Will you promise to love her and honour her, respect her and keep her all the days of your life? Yeah. And Suzanne, will you take Carl for your husband? Yeah. Or will you promise him that you will love him and honour him, respect him and keep him all the days of your life? Yeah. You have chosen this beautiful lady because you want to be with her. It's no accident that you're together. She wants to be loved by you, and you want to be loved by her. And, and when that's going on, engine, leave it running? Or do no, you know we, we say no. We turn say no, do, no engine running. Are you going to pick out her dress? Are you going to give her a description of what you want her to have? Is she tiny or big or little or tall? She's not little. Is she tall? Not really. If she was tall, she wouldn't be as big. I think that's a problem. She's got too much skin for her bones. I'm not having a go at her. She knows I love her and that. It doesn't matter. She's quite plump. No, well, well not plump. Nothing... That sounds bad. No, she's... She's, uh, she's not thin. You don't want a dress? No. I think she should just wear what she normally wears. Well, well, a chapel, you see, I'm not really that bothered about, um, if I was to get married. Yeah, this is where you go. Because... Yeah, but I don't think I'd do that. I'd do the drive-through. You mean you don't want to walk down the aisle like this? No, definitely. Da -dum, no. Da -dum, no, that is exactly what I don't want. Da -dum. No. Da -dum, da -dum. They don't? No. We are gathered here today in the presence of God to celebrate ten years of holy matrimony together. If I was to do it, I, I'm, not, I'm not, honestly, I'm not messing about. If, for some reason, I had to get married, I'd be quite happy with this. It's literally like a McDonald's. You come in, straight up to there, I do, and out. That's how a wedding should be. Done in ten minutes. You order a filio fish, you can wait that time if it's not ready. What's the plan then? Journey's been all about marriage, why people do it, different ways that they do it. And I'm here today just to sort out a wedding. A couple called John and Angie. Uh, we're getting married, you know, they haven't got loads of money. It's not like, you know, Vic and Deeper in India, they haven't, they haven't got shit loads of money that they can go chucking at a massive event. But they've let me come up with a concept for them. It's a little bit better, a little bit fancier than the, than the drive-through wedding that goes on here. But, you know, still simple, small. Everything that I've been saying from the start, really. All right, Charlotte. Hi! Come on, let's, let's get in there. Yes. Okay. Well, I came up with this idea after being at the pheromone party in LA. Uh, your smell is important. Your smell in your clothes, your pheromones. It's important in a relationship. What's the idea then? Uh, well, a couple who are getting married, they're going to come in with the washing, have a basket each, having a proper whiff of it, making sure they're happy with the smell, chuck it in the machine, two lots of you know, dirty washing, sort of become one. We are gathered here today at the laundromat in Las Vegas, Nevada. Why does it matter where a wedding is? It's just a building.
people at home when they get married and they get married in a church and I know they're not religious, I go, what are you doing that for? And they love it all. Yeah, it's a church, it's all proper. And you dress up and you have the bell going and all that. What's the bell for? It's just annoying. Everybody knows you're getting married. You've sent out an invite, they'll be there, don't worry about it. You don't have to start making a racket. This moment is what you have waited for, to belong to each other. And today is the most important day of your life. It always makes me laugh, that, on relocation, when people go, I want to live in a village. A nice, lovely little village with a church. Why would you want to live in a village? Because every weekend, someone's getting married, those bells are going off. It pisses you off when the car alarm's going off, so why is it all right when it's a church? Will you please change your dirty baskets? At least in here, it's pretty quiet now these days with tumble dryers. At this time, I would like for you to sniff each other's dirty laundry, please. This is the point now. If you don't like it, you're best saying now. And we can turn around, knock this on the head, and you can go home. So, you've, you've had a smell, you're definitely happy. Definitely. 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 Angie, definitely. really? Yes. Yeah? Definitely. Definitely. Great, John. So at this time, we would like to have you take your dirty laundry and put it in the machine so that uh, the beautiful fragrance of each other can blend in together. Take one last smell. Oh. I mean, it is science. You can't argue with science. If you like the smell of someone, then you should be together, maybe. I do think it's an important part of a relationship, an important part of putting people together. The big wedding that we saw in India with Vic and Deepa, now, they have organised weddings over there, arranged marriages. Is it because they can't use the sense of smell there because of spices and things? You're not, you're not smelling the real person, are you? Because you're eating sort of masala and tamarind and all that, all those spices. You're getting, you're getting the smells of what they're eating. So maybe that's why they've got to have arranged marriages. Might be something in that. Do you know what I mean? Makes sense. So now that we have cleared all of the dirty laundry and everything is nice and fresh and clean. I would like for you both to hold hands. Repeat after me. I, Jonathan. I, Jonathan. Take the Angela. Take the Angela. For my wife. For my wife. Trust you. But to love you and trust you. To be honest and faithful to you. To be honest and faithful to you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. By the power vested in me by the state of Nevada, I do now pronounce you husband and wife together forever. You may now snip your bride. Not bad, is it? Considering the, the end result is the same as the one in India. And on top of that, they've got the washing done. Find the ring. I mean, you can't fault it. I know it might not be everyone's cup of tea, but surely this makes more sense, doesn't it? It's a special day. Every time they put a wash on now at home, they'll remember that special day of when they got married. It's the future. I tell you, how many of these are closing down at home? You've got to, like, do more with your business, and maybe that's what laundrette should do. A white wedding. A really white wedding. Then your love, you hold around, round, round in your heart's a song. A friend who sound and your head go spinning round, 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 cause you found what you've been dreaming of. In the night, you see the over moon going round and round in two, and the ball of sun in the day. 